Hello there, welcome to Without Fathom. I'm MacGuffin, and in today's video, I'll discuss how I think a 5e Spelljammer book could, and possibly should, be laid out. There's nothing official, and I do my best not to get my hopes up, but Wansi has been teasing a Spelljammer book a lot lately. That said, I looked over this edition's setting books, and thought about it a bit, and I think this is the ideal for how it could be formatted. First of all, a few assumptions. First, this is 5e. Everything will be simplified. This will be good in some ways, the old rules were a bit of a mess, and bad in others, as we will never get the depth and complexity we might want. Second, this is 5e. It will be focused on the Forgotten Realms, realm space. This is okay, and I'll explain why later. And third, this is assuming that the 5e iteration of Spelljammer will be similar to the original, that is, it will only be on the prime material plane and not traveling between the planes. Anyways, the book. After the legal stuff, disclaimer that hopefully mentions Wooly Rupert, and the table of contents, we get the basic introduction to the setting, swashbuckling space fantasy, traveling to other worlds via wild space and the phlogiston, how things are different, and what that means for your game. Usually a short but important section of the book. After this, all the setting books dive into setting details or player options. I think this book would benefit from diving right into the player options. Obviously, we would get several new race options if the Unearth Arcana got a good reception, and hopefully some backgrounds, feats, and spells that not get a UA because they didn't want to reveal a spell timer book too early. Usually in setting books, they have two new archetypes, but once again, we have not gotten a UA about it, so who knows what they might be, or if there will be any included. After player options, the book will likely dive into setting details, realm space to be specific. If the book focuses mostly on realm space, we get a much more detailed description of the worlds in that sphere. In future setting books, like the Dragonlance book that seems always to land later this year, can have details of its own sphere, or at least have digital only, official otherwise, available in the DMs Guild. I don't expect a ton of detail on each planet, moon, and rock floating in wild space, but at least a decent description of each world and point of interest, reasons to go there, and what sort of adventures might be found there. Maybe even give official confirmation as to a canon location for the Rock of Barald. After giving a description of locations in realm space, the chapter describes spacefaring organizations like Codehelm and the Emerald Brotherhood, and religions like Celestian and Ptah. Then again, the 5e philosophy of late hasn't been terribly attached to old lore, so they might create new organizations and religions for realm space. The next chapter could be more in-depth description of the physics and rules of Spelljammer. This will include how gravity and space combat work in wild space, traveling in the Phlogiston, Spelljamming ship stat blocks and modifications, new spells, if they aren't with the player options, and magic items. Everything you need for running a Spelljammer game even if it isn't set in realm space. If they decide to keep things like limiting the cleric's access to their god while in the flush in and other spheres, well unlikely, it would be here. The chapter following that, I think, will be focused on very simple descriptions of crin space and gray space, just planets, moons, and their most basic info. The later part of the chapter contains a general guide on how to create your own spheres. Heliocentric? Geocentric? or giant tree that holds the worlds and its branches centric. It'll all be here. Next, unsurprisingly to anyone who's seen a setting book since Sword Coast Adventures Guide, will be a short adventure, likely starting off in a familiar Faerunian location and quickly ascending to wild space. Or possibly starting in Brawl? Finally, I think the book would wrap up with a chapter featuring the various monsters of Spelljammer. Giant space hamsters or we riot. There you have it. What do you think? What are you hoping for in a Spelljammer book? Leave a comment and like the video. Until next time, bye!